Trepang 2 is a ballistic, hyperviolent, adrenaline-infused first-person shooter that is heavily inspired by Monolith Productions' influential 2005 first-person shooter, Fear. From the visual design, to the spooky shenanigans, to the stylish display of 106's powers, to the extremely tight gunplay on offer, Trepang 2 is, in many ways, a spiritual successor we've been waiting for. It's also one of this year's best FPS. It's the near future, and you know what that means. Things are pretty messed up. It also means that science has, as predicted, run amok. And guess whose job it is to sort the stuff out? That's right, you. After being held in a military black site for years, it's time for some payback. So you step into the shoes of Subject 106, a super soldier extraordinaire, whose job it is to bring down the corporation that created him. Heavily armed soldiers, other super soldiers, the results of genetic mutations, even worse things await. Trepang 2 bucks the trend of most FPS these days by being a completely single player game. There are no multiplayer components to be found, and the developers have clearly focused on creating a tight campaign based on the core mechanics of stealth, brooding horror, and explosive bouts of combat. It's a balancing act that almost succeeds brilliantly, with only the stealth mechanic feeling like a weaker aspect. 106's powers include super strength, relative super speed, an invisibility cloak that drains too quickly, and the iconic bullet time slow mo ability that recharges with each enemy killed. It's the synergy between all these abilities that make Trepang 2's combat shine. If you want, you can sneak around, but the game is really at its best when you're diving into the thick of combat with nary a care in the world. That isn't to say Trepang 2 is easy. Even with 106's abilities at your disposal, the game throws some tough encounters your way with up to 20 enemies on screen at once, all flanking, tossing grenades and communicating your position. The enemy AI does a great job of putting up a fight and using the environment to their advantage. But then, so can you. Trepang 2 shines once you've figured out that a continuous chain of slow-mo kills will keep your meter full and leave you relatively unscathed amid the carnage. 106 is an absolute beast in combat. You can cloak to sneak in close, or just disappear when the action gets too hot. You can jump over ledges and tables while slow-moing your way through everything, or power sliding under shielded enemies to knock them into the air and pepper them with whatever you have at hand. In slow-mo, your standard kick becomes a devastating spot to death stomp, and if you're so inclined, you can use enemies as shields or even meat grenades. It's thrilling stuff. And despite the near future setting, your assortment of weapons isn't particularly inventive. In fact, they're all rather generic, but also viable and meaty in combat. Especially once you gain the ability to do wield weapons of the same type and make your John Woo dreams come true. The tactical shotgun, I dub the Kibblemaker, is amazing, but dual wielded shotguns are godly, and there's almost nothing that can stand against you when packing a pair of these bad boys. Now, Trepang 2 features some incredible body obliterating combat. Enemies die horribly, often coming apart in bloody chunks that would require you to burn your outfit after wading through them. They can be dismembered, all sorts of entrails come flying out, or they can be turned into a chunky crimson mist when hit up close with a shotgun shell. When it comes to violence and gore, Trepang 2 earns its mature age rating. As for 106's powers, well, slow mo looks exactly as you would expect, with time slowing down and the visuals distorting around you allowing you to dodge bullets with their trails visible in the air. The environment disintegrates in combat as grenades detonate in visible concentric shock waves, while hundreds of bullets tear pillars apart and reduce fancy officers to rubble. It all happens at a fair clip too, with no performance issues on either of the Xbox Series consoles. For the most part, the level design keeps the action flowing near constantly. It does slow down a bit when the spookier aspects come into play in a bid to create tension, but these moments become fewer as the campaign progresses and the action heats up. Despite Fear's considerable influence, Trepang 2 prioritizes blood-splattered combat over horror and survival elements. So wrapping up, Trepang 2's more modern DNA is infused with the best design elements of the early 2000 first-person shooters. It's a retro-styled, cathartic, wish-fulfillment experience, in which you, like the modern Doom games, are the deadliest thing in the room. It's Fear on steroids, and it's absolutely glorious for fans of the genre. If you've got this far, please consider giving the video a like and maybe subscribing to our channel as it helps us grow.